Hey everyone, it's Shaka, aka Perspicuous87 here again with another random but hopefully helpful video. Lately I've been playing a lot of Death Stranding, and after hours of building my zipline network, I ran across this set of missions where I'm unable to use them, which is really frustrating. Uh, that's actually the mission you see me setting up here for now. I'm stocking up on a bunch of items that I actually didn't need. Um, all you really need for this delivery is a floating carrier, a speed skeleton, and a bola gun just in case you run across some mules that are uh, a bit more aggressive. So uh, on this delivery you have to deliver two pizzas and a bottle of champagne to Peter Englert who is all the way on the other side of the map from the Time Paul Farm which is the only place you can get this mission. Uh, the catch is you can't turn the pizzas vertically for obvious reasons so uh, you have to use your floating carrier uh, for the pizzas and you have to carry your champagne in your hand the entire way which means you can't use any zip lines, you can't use any trucks, you can't use anything but your feet to get you from point A to point B. So once you've started the mission and you've uh, gotten the pizzas on your carrier and you've grabbed the champagne, you want to run. Um, the best and then maybe even only way to get uh, to get to where you need to be is to come by this abandoned warehouse which is a hot spot for mules uh, but if you equip the speed skeleton like I recommended then uh, you should be able to just kind of blow past all of them uh, they'll never have a chance to catch up as long as you keep running uh, by the way you, you want to make sure that Sam's stamina is at full capacity for this uh, you can always stop and rest when you need to but it's just it'll go a lot quicker and it's easier if you uh, drink a few red uh, monsters, <laughs> not Red Bull, excuse me. Uh, drink a few monster energies uh, before you start this mission and rest up really well. But yeah, so once you, uh, once you start the mission, you run all the way past that abandoned warehouse where those mules are, are likely to attack you. Just run past them and go up this hill. Uh, and for the sake of time, I spread up the video in certain areas and then certain areas I'll have to play normally, usually when I look at the map. So once you get atop this hill, you will uh, get to the jagged, um, the jagged cliffs where the river and the waterfall, waterfall are. So once you reach, the, the cliff is tiered. There are two levels of this cliff. So uh, once you reach the, reach the first level, go left like I'm doing now. And uh, you can you can actually get down it any way you want, whatever's easiest for you. But I always try to find the same two little grooves to kind of shimmy my way down. Um, they're kind of like very steep stairs, um, and they don't they won't really cause damage to your cargo. So it's this one that uh, you just saw me go into. Uh, hopefully you were you followed the video easily enough up until that point and you found it. Just reach that cliff and go to the left. And then once you get down that groove, you go straight ahead to this next one. And what you're looking for is some colorful, uh, almost coral reef looking uh, moss covered rocks. And it's a groove that looks like this. It's right next to uh, the crossing point of, right, uh, of the river right before the waterfall. So, uh, but again, you can, you can take any route down this cliff that you want. It's, these are just the two grooves that I look for to, to shimmy down uh, because it's easiest for me. Um, I said you wouldn't need anything but those three items, but I'm not sure if you're playing online. If you're playing offline, it might have been a good idea to bring some ladders. I'm sorry to mention that so late uh, uh, to get across this river, but hopefully you're playing online and other players have already laid some ladders uh, down for you to get across. Uh, as you can see, I'm using other players' ladders and I'm also using my own that I set previously. So. Yeah, so you want to kind of make your way across this danger server. I actually died on this a couple of times uh, before, you know, a long time ago when I first started playing. I fell down that waterfall. It's not fun. It actually is fun and it's not. Okay, so uh, don't get stuck in that hole just like I did. And once you get across the river and up the cliff, you will be near the cosplayer. Which, if you've been playing this for a while, you know the cosplayer's um, home is uh, kind of difficult to get to and frustrating but luckily I've gotten her all the way to five stars now so I don't have to basically go down there and see her anymore so yeah but right now you're very near the cosplayer you know that because of the red hills uh, that you see in front of me um, 
that's a good sign of, of where you are. So you want to go to the bottom of that cliff uh, toward those red hills and just kind of stay in this uh, crevice all and just keep straight for, for a good while. And time fall will start. Uh, I don't think it'll turn, it won't turn black at all. You won't have to encounter any BTs. Uh, I think you only encounter the BTs if you go up those red hills to my right. If you go up those hills, I think that's where the BTs are. Again, I did not plan this route. I didn't check the weather. I didn't, uh, none of this is planned. It's a lot of luck and just kind of luckily going the right way. So I'm hoping that you can also follow this path and have as much success as I did. So once you get through that crevice uh, between the red hills and uh, the rocky uh, cliffs, you, uh, you continue to keep straight. And now we're heading up towards the, um, uh, now we're making our way toward uh, the craftsman. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a left uh, right around where I am now. Uh, if you know where the craft craftsman is, then um, that's kind of the route you want to take. So right now we're in mule territory again, but we have our speed skeleton, so we're not you know re really worried about them. They won't catch up. So uh, you kind of want to hang a left and uh, like a, a very wide left and just kind of keep straight. And um, I'm picking up, uh, I'm really broke right now as far as cargo crystals go, so I'm gonna <laughs> try to pick up as many of those as I can on the way. Um, so yeah, you can see the craftsman's uh, area over there to, well, it was to the left, okay, to the left right up there, that tent, that kind of structure, as wh where, around where he is. So that's where we're heading. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to the base of this hill, this green hill in front of us. Um, that's the next goal is to get to the base of that hill. So we're making our way. Ugh, be patient. By the way, uh, this this delivery gives you 60 minutes, which is way more than what you'll need. It, it, it feels like it could not be enough at first, but it's really it's really generous, especially if you take if you follow this video. So. Um, my speed, the battery in my speed skeleton was running out, so I was really glad to see that generator from uh, that player. And I guess after liking so many, liking that generator so many times, Sam, it exhausted him. So I'm gonna take a quick rest here. It has nothing to do with the running. It was all the likes that I gave him. Um, so I'm gonna drink some Monster Energy, the miracle cure for exhaustion, and. Uh, Grab my champagne and then we're back on our way. So once you get to the base of this hill, to the left, this green hill, you just want to follow it all, well not all the way around, but you want to follow it around um, ab about a good quarter of the way. So just stick to the base, you shouldn't encounter any enemies, any mules, any BTs, and just, uh, yeah, just keep straight around this hill and then I will uh, tell you what to do when we get to uh, our next checkpoint, if you will. There's another generator, but I'm already good to go. So now that we're coming around this bend, around the base of the mountain, uh, basically what you want to do is keep straight for a good while. I don't know if I had to guess, I'd say it's keep straight for a good five to eight hundred meters, or generally straight anyway. And then we're going to hang a left, but for now we're just going to keep straight along this uh, I guess I won't call it a wall, just kind of an edge of the map. So I'm looking, you see uh, Peter is ahead but to the left, so right now we're going to keep straight. Oh, I actually dropped my, I dropped his champagne, he's not going to be happy about that, but don't worry too much about uh, dropping your cargo or dropping the champagne. It, if it happens once or twice or even a few times, it can take some damage, it's, it's not we're not going for a premium delivery here so um, actually I'm gonna drop that champagne a few times uh, over the duration of this video so uh, we kept straight for a while and uh, very soon here we're gonna cut a left I will look at the map again so you can see where we are but hopefully you're able to kind of play this video and then pause it and then um, you know catch up so at that green patch of grass we'll go ahead and make a left and uh, I'm thinking most of you, if not all of you, should have that road built either by you or someone else uh, over in the distance. It looks like a bridge, but it's actually a road. Uh, you want to kind of head toward that. 
and I dropped the champagne again. There's going to be no carbonation left. It's going to be flat champagne. It's basically going to be wine by the time we get it to him. So, uh, but that's not my problem. And so, okay, so you head over to the road. And there are, this is one of two rivers that you'll have to cross. Luckily, someone put a ladder there for me. I really appreciate that. I should have liked it more. Uh, sometimes I only mash the like button uh, as I'm passing. Um, but I try to like whenever I use somebody's uh, tools. Okay, so now here we are. We're very close to Peter. Um, he's this way and then to the right a bit. There is one more river we're going to have to cross. It's a small one. Um, again, the, the, most, the two most valuable things that you're going to need on this run are the floating carrier and the speed skeleton. Um, as you can see, it's, I've gotten across this map. I mean, the video is sped up, but I've gotten across this map fairly quickly. Now, this is when I realized, <laughs> you might have already realized, but I just realized that I left my champagne way back there. So I'm going to go ahead and fast, uh, fast forward uh, even more so than I have been doing to go back and get it. This is embarrassing. I don't know how I didn't realize that I didn't have it all that time. But okay, so I went back and got it. And we can see how close we are. Peter's right there to up and to the right. So we're going to keep following this road a little bit more. And then we're going to go off course to cross the next river. And after we cross that river, it's pretty much uh, the home stretch. So we are making our way across this desert type land. Here's a small river. Hopefully you still you know, have enough energy and stamina to get across it. You can see mine is running low now, but it, um, uh, Peter's place is so close that we don't really have to worry about that. Uh, and there you, you can see he's right in front of us. So right in front of these uh, small hills that we're walking over uh, should be his building. And this entire trip took uh, 20 minutes. It was really intimidating at first. It can be really intimidating at first to have to trek this far on foot, and it, especially if you don't know exactly where to go if you're not a planner like I'm not. Uh, but this is it. So I uh, hope you've all followed this video and it helped you. And uh, thanks for watching.